draw for the final. And the first rider to pick his gate for the final is Bartos Smarslik, who goes straight for the red gate position. Next to make the choice is Jack Holder. Jack, select your colour, please. Jack selects the yellow gate position. And next to make the selection is Jason Doyle. And Jason selects the blue gate position. And making his first final, Kim Nielsen gets left with the white gate position. Thank you. So there we are, the final race of the night. And the lineup is Bartosz Marslik on the inside. Jason Doyle alongside him in gate number two. Gate number three is Kim Nielsen, and gate four is Jack Holder. And Kim Nielsen, I tell you what, I don't think it will bother him too much. I think he'll just be delighted to make his first final. He made the semi-final, he made the final from gate through, Chris, and you can believe the way he's riding, he might just sneak round that inside again. Bike's working for him, he's riding, uh, I wouldn't say cautiously, just sort of almost protective, really, making sure he doesn't make any mistakes. And, mm. and you can certainly pick up plenty of points riding that way. So, uh, yeah, I mean, he's effectively in last place. He's in 15th place, so only the wild cards actually lower than him and uh, yeah fantastic performance tonight. high point of his career no doubt about that in the Grand Prix full-time as a consequence of qualifying through the GP challenge last year in Glasgow tough opening three rounds for him and uh, all of a sudden he's gonna get 14 points world championship points here as a minimum a minimum 20 points 18 16 and 14 in the final but this man the reigning champion and uh, will he come under pressure from Jack Holder now? Jack Holder's the man who's on the move, that's for sure. Holder, who's ridden superbly well in the last three Grand Prix, should have won one, of course, in Warsaw. It was a touch unfortunate, came second in the end, was third, of course, in Prague last weekend, and uh, makes another final here this evening. Gate four, could he do something pretty spectacular? I think he could. I yeah. do believe he could. And Doyle can't rule him out because uh, he, he uh, forced his way into second place there in the semi-final number one. So an intriguing final for us to look forward to, that's for sure. It's been a tough night. It hasn't been a classic Grand Prix. That's uh, go on record of saying that. But nonetheless, wherever you are on the Grand Prix calendar, these championship points are vital. And this man... You've got to give him an awful lot of credit, Chris. He just keeps doing it, doesn't he? He's, he just maintains a very high standard. Yeah, the only rider to make each final so far in the first three rounds. And uh, looking at the lineup, Holder and Doyle are the two realistically that will be looking to take a few points out of his lead if they possibly can. Yeah, Doyle came into the round on 36 points, slipped down to fifth after a disappointing night in Prague. Holder actually moved up into third place in the championship on 41. Lingren is now going to be overhauled by uh, Holder because uh, Lingren was just uh, uh, five points in front of him on 47. So um, uh, Smarslik, if he can win here, will stretch his lead out. And um, uh, he'll be looking to do so because Holder's looking like his, uh, well, is his uh, closest uh, challenger right now. But for Doyle, this is a great opportunity to get uh, right back in the championship chase. And a mention for Kim Nielsen. Fabulous moments for him. He is uh, certainly going to have to pinch himself at the conclusion of tonight when he comes back in after the final because it has been a terrific performance from him. So uh, anything he gets there, he gets on the rostrum tonight, that really will be a fitting moment for him. So uh, it's been a tough, tough campaign so far. So riders now out on track uh, for the final time this evening. Track has been tough, it's been a terrific crowd, it's been a superb day, lovely weather. And uh, the SGP in the Bergring here in Tetero, the Volk FIM Speedway G GP of Germany. has had a few highlights, hasn't it? Not always necessarily through the racing, but sometimes the unpredictability of the track. But well, uh, As is traditional, I have to ask you at this point, Kelvin, oh, who are you going for? Oh, I'm going to be boring here. I'm going to go with Smarzik uh, on the inside. I, I you I, might. Uh, yeah, <laughs> well, you have asked me. OK, well, that makes it a little more difficult for me. Um, <laughs> I have to say, for me, tight between Doyle and Holder, but given the fact he's got gate four, mm -hmm. I'm going to go with Holder. So a holder for you, so uh, no surprise there, and it'll be Kim Nielsen that wins the race. Yeah, then. absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> so there we are then, the final time of the night. And uh, Jason Dawes' crew just keenly looking on. 
nervous times. So on the inside is Bartosz Marslik in red. Jason Doyle alongside him on a warning in uh, the blue helmet colour. Gate number three in white is Kim Nielsen and Jack Holder goes from the outside in yellow. Let's hope it's a fitting end uh, to the night. We don't want to see any dramas. We want to see some clean, tough racing here. Championship points, big championship points on the line. Round four, Smarslik once again producing a solid display. When he really needs to, he's up to his game. Struggled in Prague, actually, at the end, and uh, missed out on the Rostam, but still, nonetheless, made the final. But uh, his performance here is... Uh, Pretty impressive. So here we go then. Start Marshall just about happy moving away. Green lights on and we're underway. Doyle made a good start, but Smarslick's made a better one. Smarslick round the inside, holds it there. Doyle through into second place. Kim Nielsen holding Jack Holder. No, he can't. Holder coming through into third place. Smarslick out in front. Just got to keep it all together. If he can, he's going to win another Grand Prix. He won the opening round in Croatia. Hasn't managed to win since then, but he's looking good for his second win of the season now. Bartosz Smarslick. Yeah, Smarslick faultless towards the end of this meeting. Absolutely fantastic stuff from him. Jason Doyle, after a difficult night last time out in Prague, will be very happy with second place. This race seems to be settling down. And uh, Jack Holder, Mr. Consistent, he's there again. Another podium if he can stay in third place. Indeed he will. They've stretched out. It's not the most exciting Ooh, final. A little bit of a twitch there from Bartosz Smarzlik on the final lap. <laughs> Through the final corner for the final time here in Centro. Bartosz Smarzlik stretches the lead once again. Oh, fabulous stuff from him. Terrific uh, return to form for Jason Doyle in second place. And Mr. Consistent certainly is Jack Holder. Back in third place, delight for Bartosz Marslik. Many congratulations to the world champion. Certainly a touch of relief as well, I would suggest. And uh, they uh, are clearly and rightly delighted with that. Didn't win here last year, finished second, but this time around picks up the win. And uh, the first time that he actually wins here in Germany, so clearly, look at that. It means the world to him. Our third Polish winner on the trot here in uh, Germany. So, um, uh, a great uh, legacy for the Poles here, then. But uh, Bartosz Marslik certainly doing the business and uh, finishing it off in style. The inside gate certainly was um, uh, an advantage all through the evening. We've had plenty of race wins from there. Super move by Doyle in the first corner, actually, to slot into second place. Jack Holder coming through to make another podium and uh, doing a lot of work, but I'm uh, picking up 16 points. There's the result then for you. Bartosz Marslik wins in fine style. Doyle in second place, Jack Holder in third. Kim Nielsen in his first ever final, just missing out on the rostrum, but nonetheless, I'm sure he'd be chuffed to bits in making his first final. It's been a special evening for him. But for that man, Bartosz Marslik, he goes from strength to strength. Yeah, take a look at again, the start here in the final, and it just rockets away from the inside gate. Jason Doyle thinks about a run around the outside, realises that uh, second place is better than letting people up the inside of him, so he does the wise thing, really, cuts back to the inside and uh, just follows the world champions every move. But uh, Kim Nielsen here, he's uh, got himself out of the start. Not a bad effort from gate three, but an absolute disaster zone all night. But Jack Holder squeezes between him and the fence and uh, gets himself into a podium position once again. That's the last three rounds on the podium for Jack Holder. Great stuff. Superb stuff there once again. And um, uh, two Australians on the rostrum tonight, but uh, Smarslik certainly leading from the front. And um, uh, a great conclusion to the event for him. Did have a bit of a twitch there, two, three, yeah. two thirds of the way through the race. Straightened but, uh, it out fairly quickly, didn't it? It did indeed. He managed to uh, keep it all under control there. You can just see how he had to move his body around to just collect the bike. But uh, delight in the camp once again for Smarslik. And even though he's won three world championships in the last four years, he wants it four out of five, doesn't he? And uh, it's looking very no likely as we fast approach the midway point, which will be in two weeks' time in Gorzhov. So let's look at uh, some more stats for you. Most GP wins. Crump is out in front of 23. Bartosz Marslik is certainly rapidly making his presence oh, yeah. felt there on 20. Ty Wolfenden on 11. 
So uh, Smarslik really is beginning to um, uh, close in on some of these uh, huge records. And you've got to believe that he's going to leapfrog all those other guys very soon. Uh, his win rate uh, far exceeds those above him. Indeed it is in such a short period of time. But um, uh, Smarslik once again setting the pace in the championship. And um, uh, will anybody be able to chase him down? Once again, I have to reflect on the semi-final. It will be interesting to see if Scotty Nichols can find out what happened with Dan yeah. Bewley. It really will. Um, uh, certainly, it will be uh, such, a, such a devastating blow for Bewley there in the semi-final. There's the points on the night. Obviously, the big points being dished out there. 20 uh, for Schmalzlik, Doyle on 18. Handy 18 for him. Jack Holder on 16. Kim Nilsson, 14. Uh, we've rattled through the other ones for you earlier on with Leon Madsen. Still picking up a handy 12 points there. Uh, we'll uh, update you with the World Championship standings for you very shortly, I'm sure, um, because um, uh, once we crunch the numbers, we'll see exactly how... So we uh, will get a uh, interview. So let's um, uh, get some uh, get some information now. Scotty Nichols on the infield with the winner, Bartosz Marslik. Yeah, your round four winner here in Tetro Journey is the current championship leader, Bartosz Marslik. Bartosz, you've had four podiums here, and now your first win in Tetro. Yes, of course. I many times been here in the final, but never win. And today, so first time for me in a win in Tetro, and I'm very happy and proud about this. Yeah, definitely. And now you extend that championship lead. I don't look at for the, this one. I take, you know, a very think what the day give me to to me and uh, yeah i take the fun also for, from the racing on the speedway because i love it it's always fun to win how difficult were conditions tonight ah, i feel very nice uh, track is much better than the last season but uh, also in the end on the season a little bit open but you know, must focus on the winning start and uh, make it a good job on the four laps and very important all the time in my head today is all night. <laughs> Always a focus. You'd like to say something in Polish to your fans? Dobry wieczór wszystkim Polakom! Bardzo się cieszę, że tak licznie dzisiaj przybyliście i świetnie dopingowaliście Polaków. Także trzymajcie kciuki, jedziemy dalej i do zobaczenia na następnych stadionach. Dzięki.